welcome back to The Good Life. Yeah, we go from politics right into cooking <laughs> here on right. The good, Lo good Life. And we're very happy to have Isabella back with us. That's and right. Thank welcome, you. Isabella. So good to have you back. And the thing I like about you, you bring cultures, different cultures into the kitchen. And, and you were going to see that now. Yes. That's right. Now, you uh, were telling us before, you have uh, also Hispanic background, too. I do. As a matter of fact, the father of my children is Puerto Rican. So I grew up with them for 12 years, and they are such a beautiful family, and they are in our lives today, and I'm so thankful for that. But one of the things you will see as you see all these wonderful things here, you're thinking, for those Hispanics that are watching, they're mm -hmm. saying, what is that Bilon doing in this Italian kitchen? <laughs> and I will tell you, I love my Bilon. <laughs> you said it's a brand new gift, though, it, from your children. Actually, Gabriel and Adriana went to Puerto Rico, and when they came back, they brought this for me because I had a little one, and I wanted a big mm -hmm. one. Uh, and they have much bigger, but I was just so happy. And that's that for I doing the garlic. This. For, yes. Uh, and are there other reasons that we would use this in um, the kitchen? I honestly, I just use it just to crush, okay. crush garlic, crush seeds, crush ah, nuts. Okay. Yes, you can do yeah, all of that with good. it. But, and you never put the soap to this. You know, it's all mm -hmm, seasoned, mm -hmm. so you just rinse it out, and it just becomes darker and more beautiful with life. Mm. Well, Isabella, we are always loving to have you in the kitchen because you do bring such a beautiful um, palette to us. We have the, you know, I've always heard that you're supposed to eat the rainbow, colors of the rainbow. So today, viewers, we have red and we have green and we have purple and we have potatoes and just. It's a beautiful, tell us what you're fixing. It's all gorgeous, but what is it? Well, I gotta tell you, I was thinking about the show and I thought, you know, we're getting into the summer. People don't want to be behind the stove mm -hmm. all day long. It's hot already. I don't know, this is kind of nice. I've been getting my face. Yes, I know. <laughs> I know you were getting a little closer. All right. <laughs> but it's wonderful because this is an incredible meal in itself. Mm -hmm. All right. You can use it as an ensalada, a salad. You could use it, obviously, as a whole meal, a side, and then do wonderful things with the leftovers. Okay. So let me tell you, we're doing a wonderful summer dish called Insalata Calabrese. And Insalata Calabrese, obviously, is from the region of Calabria. Uh -huh. And this is one of my family's favorite, favorite insalata. And I'm going to teach you Italian again. So remember, <laughs> as we go along, I'm going to have you okay. repeat it, okay? Right. I want to see how much you remember from the last show. Mm. As you can see, may I get started? Yes, yeah, you may. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We're ready. We're ready. You got red you potatoes see, in there. I did. I love the patate. i got to tell you guys, you know, patate has gotten such a bad rap. And they're great for you. Full of nutrients. Oh, they're full of nutrients. Yes. They're, they fill you up. Mm -hmm. They're low calorically. Right. All right. They have vitamin B6, vitamin C. Did you know it had vitamin C in it? Did not know. I did not no. know either until I read that very recently. I You've go, got to wow. eat the skin. The skin is what's so good for you too, right? I never peel patate. Yeah. Never, never peel patate. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm actually going to turn this baby off now. Oh, there goes my steam now. They, <laughs> but they're wonderful nutritionally. What mm -hmm. about the potassium, the iron, the yes. copper, the magnesium? Right. Right. So they are a wonderful food. What gives them a bad rap is how people prepare them. Well, too All much right. butter. We're well, not going to use any butter. You don't see an ounce on the this table, no. you very rarely will see it on my table. Truly, olive oil yeah. all day long. <laughs> <laughs> but olive oil is supposed to be good for you. We it talked really about our friend in Israel who just drank a teaspoon every day. So we're going to be drinking a little bit of olive, olive oil and potatoes. It really, really is. So what I brought here, just to show you about some of the ingredients, mm -hmm. I have some wonderful cherry tomatoes. And if you get an opportunity to go ahead, get the red and yellow cherry tomatoes. You can't find them all the time. Red onion, ladio, the garlic, and some fagiolini. These fagiolini are from Daddy's Aww, Garden again. Wonderful. Remember I told you my father's yes. garden? Look at these fagiolini. I just am so excited about it. And he grows tomatoes and, and all kinds of things. And pomodoro and eggplant oh and squash goodness. and garlic. He has oh, garlic yeah. in his garden too. It's, it's exciting. It's like the old country, right? It is. Yeah. It really is. You know what I wanted to do is I actually blanched these just a little before because I wasn't sure how much time we had. But normally at home, this is how I would prepare it. Mm -hmm. okay, okay, I bring these patate to boil. All right, when they're practically done, I throw my fagiolini in mm -hmm. literally just for a minute or two. Uh -huh. Pull them out. There's no reason to dirty another pan. Mm -hmm. And I'll put everything and in And I think all your kids once. are more apt to eat fagiolini because it sounds better than green beans. Oh, oh yeah. Eat your fagiolini. Eat your fagiolini. <laughs> eat your fagiolini. It's your good fagiolini. for you. Yes. Exactly. So what we're going to do here, I need... Actually, so fagiolini is this. Italian for green beans? Is that, is that right? It's Italian, sweetheart. Good job. Italian. Italian. Yes. Italian. No, Italian. 
Italian. Italian. Italian. Italian. Italian. You can. I, I have so much hope for today. you, Ken. <laughs> <laughs> I'm waiting I for you to do this And I'm just going to put these in this lovely bowl. You know I'm a woman of many colors. I, I love the colors. That. Wonderful. And uh, so I've got the orange bowls. We're just going to just take this out nice and quick. <laughs> and get this out of the We need some Italian music. I don't know why we don't ever have that in the background. You know, the next show, I promise you, I'm bringing the music. Okay. I'm bringing the music. And you know, if I'm lucky enough, I might be able to convince one of my cousins. I have singers or guitar players. <laughs> we are a very multi-talented multi family. I have to tell our viewers, whenever Isabella comes, she brings the whole family with her. So we <laughs> have a studio full of wonderful Macaris. We uh, love it. Right. Thank you, or more today, Macari. You or, got yes, it. We love it. You know what? Ken, now, do these, you these mind? These are not overcooked, right? Not at all. I can do this. I Would you please? Fingers of steel. Yeah, and it's not really hot. You're no, good. I no, love no. that pot just, just for that right reason. Now what I want to do is I actually, while you're doing that, I'm going to cut this really quickly. That's going to cool off just for a second. It's All like right. a potato salad, like having a potato salad except that it's going to be warm when we eat it. It actually becomes, it, you actually eat it at room temperature. Oh, okay. You, do, you eat it at room temperature. Okay. I'm just going to slice these red onions really quickly. Now that's quickly. a red onion. Again, yes. color is what we're, what we're talking about. When you go to the store, look for colors. Right. Rainbow. Always, Rainbow always, of colors. always look for color. That's exactly what you want. You're not only going to do that, you're going to look for now, are you eating the peel? Do we eat the peel on these you onions? You don't. Okay. I peeled most of it. <laughs> I know we eat the potato with the peel, but I you never know with Isabella. Well, you know what's funny? Eat. You're absolutely right there because. <laughs> <laughs> which is good. Which is a good thing. You're absolutely right there. It's funny because when I make my chicken stock and my chicken soup, I don't peel an onion. I throw it all in there, ah, skin yeah. and all. Yeah, same, well. And same thing with the garlic. It mm -hmm. just just enhances it wonderfully. 